of time and space. Like, we haven't seen that, like, four other times. <laughs> Get up here, huh? Where am I? You decide to look around. Marty, we've got to get the DeLorean on the train track so it can reach. <laughs> <laughs> or you could just read this book in a really weird way, and uh, but you don't know where it's going to go. <laughs> just like the Tarnus. Ah, the partner. There's gold in them there hills. Yippee! I struck a rich. I struck a rich. Meet me at the saloon! The ginger ale is on me! Cheapskate. <laughs> uh, it's Nintendo. I struck it rich! I struck it rich! Barrels! There's lots of barrels! And a partner, when you walk up to a cactus, approach it from the south. That way, you won't get pricked, well, you won't get pricked by the needles. That is a clue. <laughs> Donkey! Here lies Daring Dave, a landslide sent him to an early grave. <laughs> okay. 1849. I don't think he, Dave would appreciate you <laughs> rhyming on his grave. <laughs> Here lies Lucky Larry, his luck ran out and now he's buried. 1849. <laughs> Jeez, these guys are assholes. <laughs> like, who would want rhyming on their grave? Unless like, is that in bad taste? Unless you're maybe Dr. Seuss? But, howdy! Looks like you've been through that! What brings you to these parts? You tell a story, blah blah, seeking blocks or tetrads, I don't know, I, I lost track of what the hell they are, virtual console copyrights, blah blah, time traveling, blah. Hmm, you s You know, I seem to recall seeing a strange block like your missing block. It wasn't a mine that was... <laughs> Okay, I'm not, uh, like, I, I'm slipping voices here. And this is... That was... Hold on. There. It was in a mine that was... It was in a mine that was buried since... It's been buried by a landslide. If you blast in the right place, you'll open the way to your missing black. I wish I could remember exactly where it was, but it's been a while. Good luck, Mike. Don't blame the microphone for bowing to my greatness. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the microphone moved away from Mike. That's kind of ironic. <laughs> Traitor. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, we got Riverside, River City Ransom going on over here. Get out of here, kid! We're brawling! They seriously look like characters from River City Ransom. <laughs> We're brawling! Uh, brawling? Well, how did this happen? Well, it started as a little melee, and then it turned into a brawl, <laughs> and then it was just a four-for-all. <laughs> well, that'll be when two other people join up. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Though we might uh, invite four other people as well. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Silver Dollar Saloon. Have a shot of... Sars... Barilla, sars? Sars? Barilla? What the heck? You drink the shot. Mmm, delicious. <gasps> <laughs> and... Whoa! This I is... have a shot of my red eye ginger ale. You this drink is... the shot. Dynamite. This is giving me flashbacks to Fantasy Star 4. Oh. I, I kind of hate to say it, Mark, but, uh... Oh, you know, I never noticed the, like big, weird green things over there before. Yeah, what the heck. Well, funny that you should mention that. Want me to play my greatest hit? Yes. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> Look at the girl. They Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> You're Rika, I've done it. I've hit pay dirt, which is what I am, which is what I am in the town world. There's golden in the hills, and, that's, and it's brought me many thrills. I, blah. Now it's gold that you can earn, but there's a step you must learn. It's the cactus dance. Do the cactus dance. Everybody in the desert, do the cactus dance. Step light and don't you stick. Seek a special cactus and make it quick. Face the cactus if you might, and then take two steps left and three steps right. Turn left again. Okay, that's all. And then you'll keep on walking till you hit the wall. 
Cactus dance, do the cactus dance. Shake up the shack with the cactus dance. Hm. Lost mine is yours if you want that too. Just blast the ball and you'll get through. How has no one else found this before? It was this guy playing this song all the time. Yeah, boy! He actually says, yeah, boy. <laughs> you agree. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The uh, uh, Cactus Dance sounds like a pretty good episode name. <laughs> uh, we're not the only people to have Let's Played this. Yeah. You should YouTube research that before we, uh... <laughs> Welcome to Bob's store. You came for supplies to blast through rock walls, huh? This should get you started. I'm just handing a random 15-year-old kid sticks of dynamite. Nothing could go wrong. <laughs> If you strike gold, I'll buy it all. I'll buy it all. Cactus dance. Not star tropics, not star tropics, not star tropics. Let's try looking for cactus dance star tropics. Anyways, when he said seek a special cactus, he means this cactus. And they say approach it from the south. So, you approach it like this. Jeez. Do the cactus dance. Cactus dance. Yeah, let's not go with that. <laughs> Anyways, you approach it like this. Two steps left. One, two. And then three steps from Mike's right. Hmm. One, two, three. And then turn left again, and that's okay. And the lost mine should be right here. Done. Oh. But wait! That's more! We can get more dynamite from the crazy guy that just gives it to 15 year olds! What the heck? There's more walls to be blasting, dude! And there's especially one wall that we actually want to blast through. Welcome back to Bob's store. You want dynamite? I got some more. <laughs> Gosh. I guess they really didn't want to include some type of money currency system in this game. Yeah. Ugh. Excuse me. So there's the wall we blasted. Now, don't these look suspicious? Dynamite stick in between two rocks. Blast open a hole. Heart! I've got a big heart. And... My life level has increased. That's Mike's voice now. <laughs> I know. Of course it's my voice. Who's... Who else is playing this game? I am. <laughs> By the way, there's like a little... J I'm hoping I can find it. I'm not sure exactly where it is. How much dynamite does a 15-year-old need? Plenty, that's how much. <laughs> he needs a load of dynamite. I think we should name it after the dynamite. Because <laughs> that's kind of a really weird part about this episode. I'm loaded with loads of dynamite. <laughs> okay, um, there's like several gold nuggets you can find. I think it's this one right here. These generally lead to holes... There's gold nuggets you can find, but there's also a little... You got a gold nugget, but struck it rich. Aha! This is the joke! Wow! It's a chicken nugget! You try it! Mmm! Delicious! But nothing happens. Why would, why would you try a chicken nugget that was left? Why is there a chicken nugget even there? <laughs> also, it's probably dirty, because it's most likely been on the dirty cave ground. So it's like mm. behind the sealed rock wall that you just blasted through with dynamite. Ronald McDonald has a time <laughs> machine. He <laughs> just leaves random ass. You know what? That said, that actually makes too much sense. <laughs> the Burger King has a time Considering machine. Considering all the weird shit I've seen Ronald McDonald do in his video games, I would not be surprised if I learned he had a time machine. It's like he goes back in time to kill the founder of Burger King. <laughs> Ronald McDonald goes back in time to kill the Burger King. 
but the Burger King goes back in time to save his own ass. <laughs> Wake up with the weird cactus people. <laughs> they explode in four directions when you kill them, so... <laughs> Wake up with the weird <laughs> cactus people. Oh... Do, do the weird cactus people know the cactus dance? <laughs> Damn it, I keep coming back to that. <laughs> There's hearts. There's Rocks! hearts! Damn, did I... Oh, shit. How did that happen? I turned around in midair. I don't usually do that, but I kind of panicked. I know I've already said this, but... Dang, everything looks like it turns into fire, Mario, when it gets to it. Hurt. It's just that color scheme they went with. Yep. And we've never seen it again in any future Mario game. Nope. Not even in the 16-bit remake. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Whoa! You just need to jump straight. I, like, panicked and turned in midair. This is what killed me. It was my own dumb fault. Some Whoa, people... radioactive cobras! These guys move faster! Psychedelic colors. Groovy, man! Get away from me! By the way, um, I can... Like, I can actually kind of be behind their head and not take damage. Huh. Oh, cactus people, yeah! The Cactus People, that kind of sounds like a band title. But the Cactus People Dance. Did the Cactus People band oh, make the Cactus Dance? Yeah, sure, why not. Whoa, what the heck are those things? Oh, the They look so weird from the side. I didn't know they were scorpions until they, like, moved down. And I was like, wait, there's the scorpions? <laughs> they look weird. From one specific angle. Pop. Do the bop. Do the hop bop. Woo! Oh, these things. Um, okay. If you shoot them with the magic mind bullet stuff, they they stay exactly as they are. I'd say that they're mimics, but they, they're not even trying to fool you. <laughs> Like, but, mimics or, actually... Look, look what happens if I hit them with any physical weapon. If, if you'll let me. Whoa! And if you do that when all of them are there, by the way, they'll all... You hit one and they'll all turn into that and move crazy yeah. across the screen. I've never seen treasure chest enemies that are like mimics, but... They don't give a shit about <laughs> pulling you. They're just like, I'm a treasure chest! I'm a treasure chest! I'm a treasure chest! Treasure chests wouldn't say they're treasure chests. <laughs> <laughs> it's, they're, they're bored mimics. It's like, hey, hey, you over there. I'm totally a treasure chest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got potions and shit inside me. <laughs> yeah, I'll believe that. Hey, is there a shiny quarter down here? A shiny quarter? <laughs> Stop, you idiot! <laughs> oh, gosh. This you still, you still haven't seen that. This Cyclops boss, by the way, what, just he blocks your shots with the boulder he holds. The boulder he holders. Whoa, ow! That hurt! Well, he's not like... He's not an over-the-shoulder boulder. Boulder bowl, holder. <laughs> like Aaron. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Chill out, chill out, boulder guy! There we go. There wow. we go, Dirt. They really do become fire forms. Look at all that fire that was coming off of him. I'm in pain! Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna get a We need to off. seriously play, and this is coming out of nowhere. Wow, you've done it. We seriously need to play some fucking chip and tail. Chip and tail? What is that? <laughs> Tail is Tails' is retarded half-brother. <laughs> Chip and Tail Rescue Rangers. It's a donkey! It's a talking donkey! Have we, like... Played, like... Well... Okay, you can... I, 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 I was waiting for you to... Well, like, I figure if we're at some tax, you can go ahead okay. and read it get it out of the way. Oh, 
Welcome back! I'm so glad you came so far! Listen well! I'm gonna give you some added strength, and you may overcome the dangers ahead! I why, can't... why do all the talking animals care about my health? You got the Super Psychic Shockwave! Okay, a little explanation. The uh, Psychic Shockwaves are like the yo-yo weapons from the first game, where if my health gets too low, it reverts. Huh. By the way, the Psychic Shockwave, if Mike was a playable character from Smash Brothers, this would be his B move, and the more damage he takes, the weaker and less range it would get. Yeah. I was just gonna say that, um, we haven't played any of my, like, any of the NES games I enjoyed when I was a kid, I don't think. No, we haven't. And definitely Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers first. I have definitely. the physical copy of that. So do I. It was the first video game I ever owned. Oh. Yep. Wow. Um, well, unless we're counting hand-me-downs, and fuck that. Okay, well, that, uh, then again, I never had brothers. Yeah. Woo! Oh! And by the way, we're, six, we're 16 minutes in, just... Oh. Right. I, I would have stopped you, like, right as you got to the save point, but um, I had to finish what I was going to say. Yeah, don't go that way. Whoa, 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 whoa! Cactus people! Well, I guess we're just hunkering down for a long one, then. Ah. Hearts! Uh, where <laughs> is the... There it is. Boop! Potion! Doop. doo doo doo, -doo. They're not even playing that song. These I'm a chest, things. I'm a chest, I'm a chest, these chest! Things, these things again, these things again, and here they go, they're hopping. But they are interesting in the fact that they'll transform if you... They're the most original chest enemies I've ever seen. I just like how this game keeps introducing new enemies that have new mechanics to them. Like, the zombies... You've got a lot of potions now. Whoa! 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 <coughs> Whoa! Ow! Ow! Midair pain. It's a star. Yeah, this is a special. This is a magic item that, when you activate it, will make you invincible. Oh, cool! It's kind of like a star man that you can store until you need it. <laughs> I bet I could store a star man and million monkeys in my bitchin' backpack that I never used. <laughs> that you won't be using! I still say you should really try it out on that one mission! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, the, uh... The one where I'm trapped by apes and I have to fight, like, dozens of them. Yeah. It's so evil. Whoa, whoa, Skull Minecart Man! Skull Minecart Man! Whoa, jeez! This is a mini boss. Ow. Jeez. I'm crazy skull, man. Go, go, you fucking. What are those things? They're gold. Oh, gold? They're walking gold. Yes. Ugh. Stop attacking us with gold. By the way, the daggers are actually strong. I'm gonna call them gold babies. Because they look like they're walking around. They're gold I babies. I like gold bit. There's like gold members' weird deformed offspring. I like gold! <laughs> Ghost miners! Ghost miners. Hey, wait a second. Those look very similar to an enemy from Star Tropics 1. Yeah. The, the pirates! The like skeleton pirate things. Yeah, those things. Now they're miners. The effect when they appear and disappear looks a little bit better in my opinion. Ugh. Jeez. Next time I'm gonna shut my big mouth. This is why we get 20 minute videos. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Boop. Another star! I'm a superstar. That is what I... Are? Am. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta 
set yourself up for failure there. I know! <laughs> Kill the radioactive cobras! Kill them, I say! Whoa! So I think the Ewoks have been here. <laughs> and the stormtrooper comes out. Tell me about it. <laughs> Ow. Yep, now... We're gonna kill ya! <laughs> <laughs> you are going to die from deadly tree weapons! <laughs> Whoa! Shockwave attack! Dang, these skeletons really want you dead. Oh, you know what time it is! These mines are so boring! Dang it! Uh, you're, uh, who is this guy? He's making things slightly less boring than usual. I'm so bored! Good, I'm dead. Uh, giant bored skeleton miner! <laughs> He's just mi he's just a minor board skeleton. <laughs> oh gosh, please. It's 21 minutes, Mike. <laughs> oh, are you gonna get the dang block? You're gonna get yes. the dang block! <laughs> yes, I am! Who said- oh! Line piece! <laughs> the most powerful block <laughs> is mine! <laughs> In the mine! Good. 22 minutes. I'm gonna, like, get to this episode, and I'm gonna be like, Mike, today's episode is 22 minutes. Screw you! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, and nice. I'll be like, oh, it was your big mouth that caused it. <laughs> <laughs> this braille is radical. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't read any of it, because it's all the same! <laughs> uh, it's one time a billion times. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh, sorry for the long episode. Dang. This is gonna be... We're, Bye. We're pretty close to the end. Yeah.